Where were you born? To which parents? And what time? Um, Accra, Texas. Teshi. <laughs> and what year was it? Oh, man, that's 66. 1966? Yeah. Wow. That was the year Nkrumah was overthrown. Mm. Wow. So what was life like? Who was your father? Who was your mother? What work did they do? Well, my father is Emmanuel Laisua. My mother, Emilia Tete. Actually, my mother is come from my mother come from Nungwa. Nungwa. And my father come from Tershi. Wow. Yeah, so are they still alive? Of course. By his wow. grace, yeah. They are Interesting. Still alive. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. And what work did they do? Okay, my father was uh my father was working with the uh, State Housing Corporation then. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my mother is just a housewife, you know, taking care of us and all that. You know. And how many children were in the family? Four. Four, Four of you. Yeah. Were you yeah. the first, second, third, fourth? First one. You were the first? First born, yeah. Wow. And mm -hmm. you were born in 1966. Yeah. What day specifically and what month? April 2-3. Ah, the 23rd day of April mm. in 1966. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. You were born after Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown. Mm. Interesting. All right. Now tell me, what was the family like when you were growing up? What kind of family was it? Was it rich? Were you able to eat three times a day? How was it like? Oh, yeah, I can say that. Uh, I mean, we're okay, you know. Just uh, a school at uh, Lincoln International School back back then, you know. Before you, you can get into, I mean, you can get to that school, you should be okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because by then they will have Saito and uh, you know. But to, I mean, around Teshinungwa Labadi, that's the best school around. Wow. Around our time, yeah. Teshinungwa Labadi, you know, almost from Tema, yeah. What kind of uh, student were you? Were you sharp? Were you smart? Well, let me say, average? back in the days, I was sharp, you know, let me say, uh, in the 70s, you know, but then I joined a group in the school uh, around 78, mm -hmm. somewhere, you know, we have a cultural dance, whereby mm -hmm. I was the leader of the group, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, stuff like that. So I'm okay. I think I was. Okay. It just gets to a, a point where because of dancing, you know, I didn't take my education that serious, that's it. But then, I mean, from the beginning, I was very sharp. At what time did you drop out of school? What stage in school? I didn't drop out of school. It's just that I wasn't serious. I was in, uh, I was at Laboni. I finished uh, from five. I mean, the same day I was supposed to go, I was supposed to go to London for the World Dancing Competition. I mean, that. Let me say, by then we, we have the old level, right? Those yes. Back in the days we have yes. the old level. So I just went in there to just to fill the, you know, the examination, whatever it is. But I didn't take part. But that evening I was going to London. So. Oh, so the evening you were traveling to London, but you went into the examination hall and didn't write the paper. <laughs> I just look at it. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand it. I just get out. <laughs> <laughs> the supervisor was like, why are you going? I said, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, my God. So you didn't write any O-level paper at all? No, 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 no. So when it came, they gave you all zeros? I don't know about that one. You didn't even go for it at yeah, all? I don't know about Interesting. that Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now, this dance group that you joined, at what time or what level of school did you join it? Yeah, like I'm saying, uh, uh, international school, let me say that would be around... Eight, uh, 70, I joined international school 74 somewhere, you know. So I became the leader around 78, and uh, what do you call it? That's Lincoln International School, yeah. Uh -huh. So in the 80s, then I went to, La you know, I, I mean, in 1980, I came to Laboni. That's it. Wow. Laboni La Secondary School, yeah. Wow. What was the dance group called? I mean, it's a school, okay. cultural group then. You oh, okay. Know. It's a school, so let's say, uh, what, what do you call it? Lincoln International School, cultural group. Okay, yeah. so you were a dancer in that group, cultural dancer. Yes, you were. That's where I started from. You know, Pardon my father was a dancer too back then. You know, he used to be a rock and roll dancer and stuff like that. So wow. I, I can say it's in the blood. It's in the blood. Like that, yeah, in the blood. Yeah. Now, what about the cultural dance made you happy? You know, cultural dance is cultural. You know, we have all our traditional dances and stuff like that. And I was very good at it. You know, so that's it. The pan logo, the airway dance, the agbaja, the all kinds. You know. We're doing all kinds of, you know, oh. and stuff like that. Okay. I think that's the main reason why, you know, when I get to national theater, I was a little bit, you know, because I learned, you know, all the traditional back in school and stuff like mm. that. So, mm. Interesting. Now, what was your favorite subject in school? Math. Mathematics. Wow. Yeah, mathematics, yeah. Okay. So back into the cultural dance. Tell me this. At what point did you move into uh, the non-cultural dance? The freestyle. Freestyle. Yeah, the freestyle. Yes. Freestyle. Let me say, like I said, my father was a dancer doing the rock and roll dance. So back at home, they used to do all kinds of dance and stuff like that. So I was learning the music, playing, and you know, 
we're just jamming to any kind of music. When we go to school, that's a cultural dance. But then, like I said, it's there. So I was doing that, and um, let me say, in the 80s, somewhere around, the first dancing competition that I did was, I think, Teshin Gessin somewhere in the 80s. Wow. And then the first competition that I won was 82. Jato Chrome, KKD was the DJ by then, you know. Wow, yeah, yeah. KKD was the DJ, yeah, yeah, and you won it, yeah. Do you remember it. the song you danced to? Nah, that's long time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. You, know, you know, back in the days, they just play music for you to do whatever, whatever. See, so, so, so. but what did you have it? any music that touched your heart that you'd love to dance to? Of course, uh, let me say the music that I use for the word dancing company, it wasn't just one music, it was mm -hmm. about 10 artists' songs that I put it together. These days, people are doing it. I started doing that first, you know, I put them together, get the beat out and put them together. Wow. And that's it, you know. So that always do the magic for me. Oh, you pick music from about 10 different 10 artists? 10 different artists and I put it Show together. Them together. Yeah, it's like about three minutes song and that's it. I remember your video was all over Ghana and we, mm -hmm. used, to, we used to go to the video centers and this was what they mm -hmm. would show before the main film. Yeah. How you sat on the ground and you were, you know, dancing yeah. and so many different mm -hmm. white people. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me, how did you get into that world competition? Take me through it. Let me say, back in the days, we have, uh, what we do here is that, it's not like Embassy Double Do, we mm -hmm. started doing it before Embassy Double Do, but then we have uh, Caesar 83, Black Caesar will be doing his own dancing competition, Babylon will be doing his own dancing competition, stuff like that. So, Caesar 84, I won the Caesar 84, and I was like, look, I mean, all over Ghana, I've been doing my dance and stuff like that, I'm already popular, you know, I have to move forward, so mm. that's when I said, okay, that's where, you know, my next target is the World Dancing Competition, yeah. And how did you get into the world dance competition? Well, you know, when I get to London first, it was like, uh, what do you call it? There was no, uh, 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 you know, how do you, uh, I think I went in late, a little bit late. That mm -hmm. was 85. What took you to London? Because of the dancing competition, yeah. So that's the main target that I, okay. you know. Yeah. So you wanted to go for the dance competitions mm -hmm. and travel to London? To travel, yeah, travel to, because that's where they always do the, like, I mean, the word dance, Malibu, you know. How did you is. get to London? Did somebody pay your, your plane ticket? Did you get your own money? How was it like? No, I, like I'm saying, uh, back in the days, I was making money, so I was like, oh. you know, let me go, to, so I pay my own ticket. And I, you know, let me put it this way, I thought, you know, going to London is just like traveling to Kumasi and, you know, wow. just do the thing and just, you know. So wow. Was, uh, yeah. Did you go for a visa? You know, back in the days, we don't go, you don't get visa. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> this is 3FM. Back in the days, we don't use visa. Back in the days, yeah. there was no and visa was, to yeah. travel to England. Yeah. You know, so you was, just sat in a plane and flew to uh, England? I mean, a week before then, I went to the airport. I was like, you know, just checking out, you know. So I met this guy. He was like, Jetty, where are you going? I said, oh, next week I'll be going to London. He said, oh, yeah, child, I'm going to London now. I said, okay. So he just gave me a phone number and I just... But lucky for me, when I got to London, I, I mean, immigration was like, hey, you know, it's not like... Because I thought I was just coming for the World Dancing Competition. Mm. It was like, okay, what shows that, you know, you need some kind of documents and whatever it is. So I was there and I was, you know, supposed to be, you know, for detention, they put me on detention to come back. Oh home. wow! Yeah, to come back home and stuff like that. But look, I mean, that's why I said God is always with me. When there's something for you, there's nothing you can do about it. When God said this is what you get, so put me at detention. I was like, I mean, I, so like I said, I called this guy and I was like, look, I'm here, but then this is the problem I have. So he visited me, you know, he visited the place. Now and then all of a sudden they say, all visitors should move out. And I just follow him and that was it. Oh, wow. This is 3FM. <laughs> oh, so I get to so what? In 1985, there was no need for a visa to go to England. No, no, no. no. You don't now, know. you went to the airport, bought your plane ticket, mm. sat in a plane, flew mm. to England. Mm. And when you got there, immigration asked you what you were coming for. Mm. You said you were coming to do a dance competition. Mm. You had no documents, nothing. Mm. You were slated for deportation. You were put in a certain room. Mm. And then when a visitor came to visit you. I mean, you called the visitor because you met him at the airport yeah, earlier. earlier yeah. And then when he came to visit mm. you, uh, immigration came out and said, all visitors leave because mm. we are deporting these people. Mm -hmm. You joined your visitor mm -hmm. and then you walked out of the airport without them seeing you. You know, sometimes God always, when God wants to do something for you, he always send an angel first. My so God! Angel, so that was it. So that, I mean, that guy was my angel to get into it. So when you walked out, did you pick up your passport as well, or you just walked like Look, that? I just forget about it. You know, to visit, <laughs> I don't need my passport. You know, to, I mean, I had a visitor, so I don't need to go with my passport and everything. So, I mean, as soon as it, you know, my intention wasn't like you know to get out, you know, but I was just all of a sudden I realized that we're out and he's going. Ah, Charlie. Then I just joined them. Wow! And you left your passport with the immigration. So my 
clove my hair, whatever it is. Interesting. Now, when you left, how many days were you in the deportation camp for? I think about three days or something like that, yeah. And when you left on the third day, you went with this visitor to his house? Yeah, to his house. How long did you stay in his house for? For, let's say, about a week or something like that. And he has another house, so he moved me, he asked me to, you know, stay in, Interesting. in the house. So that was it. And how did you get into the dance competition? Okay, so I called my dad. You know, mm. When I was going, like I'm telling you, know, my dad doesn't even know that I was going to London. Mm. You know? So I called my dad and I was like, okay, this is the situation I'm here. And he said, oh, okay. He has a friend there, you know, back in the days when he used to do this dancing competition thing. So he has a friend, I mean, dancing rock and roll. Yeah. He has a friend called Tornado. I mean, I, I always call him my uncle. So he gave me his number to get in touch with him. So he knows, because he was a dancer, he knows about this world dancing competition. He was the one who got me in touch with the Malibu, whatever it is. So wow. they were like, okay, in 85, there's no, uh, 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 what do you call it, a dancer that is coming from Ghana or whatever. Wow. And I'm also, I'm also late mm. because I, I think it was around, they do it around Christmas and I was there around November somewhere. Mm. So it was like, okay, so now they'll put me on for 86. Okay. So that's why I was part of the 86. Ah, so mm -hmm. you missed the 85 batch? Yeah. You stayed in London for mm -hmm. one more year? Yeah. yeah. No drama. You didn't mm -hmm. meet police immigration anymore? You know where, you know, like mm -hmm. I said, but a week before, a week before that, I mean, the competition that we, you know, I was crossing the street and all of a sudden there was a car, you know, I, you know, it's the back crossing, you are right to cross. You yes. Know, when they, all of a sudden, a car knocked me, and I was like, instead of me to stop because I'm on the ride, you know, you know what I, you know. So I just jump over, you know, get under the train and just move up. You run away. Yeah. So like I'm saying, that's so that was my second miracle. You know, it's like when God, does, you know, I was going for the dancing competition. I don't know if I'm going to win, but for me, it's just like going for the world dancing competition for Ghana to see me. Yeah, I'm there. Wow. Yeah. You know, so that was the second attack from the devil. But you know, interesting. So when the car knocked you, instead did of you me get to hurt. Yeah, I got hurt. I can still feel it, you know, in my leg oh, right wow. now. Yeah, yeah, it's still... It, you know, sometimes when you are young, you don't really feel it, but when you're yeah. getting older, yes. sometimes yes. this thing come out a little bit. Yeah, 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 stuff like that. So instead of me to yoga, I just get out, you know, and just... What? Did you see a doctor? So, I mean, I was young, you know. I, I, the pain was in that, you know, whatever it is. How old were you in 1985 or 86? Uh, that was 1920, yeah. 1920, 1920 there about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when you got to Malibu for the 1986, mm. did they do any auditioning for you? Okay. What uh, They were like, what shows that I'm from Ghana? You know, I'm a dancer and I'm from Ghana, whatever it is. So, like I'm saying, you know, we used to do this Caesar 83, Caesar 84. Mm -hmm. So I had my father to send me some videos and whatever wow. it is. So I, that's what I used. They saw the video and all that. They were like, okay, so this is a champion from Ghana. And they don't have any dancer from Ghana. So, mm. so that's what they pushed me into it. How did your father send these videos to you? By post? Or yeah, by, by post. Air? Back then, you know, by post. So it took by time post, for you yeah, to get time, it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And when they watched it, they liked it? Yeah. They liked and they it. said it you could like, do okay, it? Yeah, this guy should be part of the competition. Did they advertise the event on TV? I mean, you know, what dancing competition back in the days was popular. You, mm. know, you know, it was popular, you know. Very, very popular. So. so your name was there? So my name was there. It was 32 countries, you know. Wow. 32 countries. Yeah. Do you remember some of the countries? Yeah, the US came second. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, UK came third. You know, Iceland, Jamaica, Nigeria, you know, Kenya and all that. Interesting. Yeah. On the day of the show, mm. Anyway, were you camped before the show or you were just coming from your homes to come and dance? No, well, they kept us like a week. Wow. You know, that was the day I was in, uh, instead of me to, you know, that I was knocked by a car, you know, ah. and instead of, so where, I mean, they put in in a hotel for a week, and the dancing was, the, the competition was just, just for one day. Mm. It was, you know, back in the days, we have Tilem, semi-finals, hey, quarter-finals, semi-finals, and finals. Wow. Yeah, so they have it in, uh, what do you call it, like four different venues. Mm. Yeah, so we did the first one, which I qualified, the second one, which I qualified, the third one, that's the semi-finals, and then the finals. Oh my God! So but the finals, the finals, it mm. was like all the thirty-two for introduction. Mm. They will call all the dancers, mm. and for me, you know, being part of the finals, that's when they show you know the whole world will see. So for me, I was like, look, I have to be part of the finals, and that's wow. okay for me because. I mean, the best eight, yeah. that's where, you know, they show it on TV, national TV or whatever, the whole world to see, you know, the dances and stuff like that. Interesting. So I was just praying to be a part of the 
that's it. You were not even thinking about winning. No, 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 no. Just no, wanted no. to be part I, of the final. I just want to be because that's when you know Ghana will see me that I'm there. You know, Interesting. Or, I mean, the whole world will see. Yeah. So that was it. So I mean, being mm. part of the eight, mm. you had your songs ready, right? Of course. Joined all of yeah. them together. The first, the, uh, what do you call it? The quarterfinals, the semifinals, the you know, they play any music for you. But the finals, you have to use your own song. Your own song. You know, like I'm saying, my own song, the magic song that I, you know, always work for me. That's what I present. Which one did you present? That's the, the like I'm saying, the ten artist song that I put together myself. And do you remember any one of them in the title? Lightest Away was part of it. I owe you, you know, you, I can't remember. <laughs> This is 3FM. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we, we are going to watch a short video of you doing the dance. Mm. And then when I return, I'm going to ask you how you felt when you were doing this. Okay. Right? <laughs> All right. All right. So this is it. This is it. That's you dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God. And you had jelly curls, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, back in the days, you know, where I have to do something like oh, that. Oh, my God. Hey, and you were doing the slide as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord God, what? What dance is this? That's the backslide, you know. You know, let, let me say, you know, Jeffrey Daniels came out with a backslide even before Michael Jackson put it out there, uh -huh. like Moonwalk. And back then, we we're doing it even before Michael Jackson came out. So I came out with my own, like the front and back and the butt slide and whatever it is. You know, I'm trying. Interesting. To, I always try to create something out of something. Yeah. And what dress were you wearing? Watch you. Oh, yeah. Representing Ghana, red, gold, green. Lord God yeah. have mercy. Mm -hmm. Look at the dance. Did you take the dress from Ghana or you sold it in, in London? No, I was in London and I called this guy who always sold my dress for me. His, his name is Tommy Stay at Labadi. So I told him, look, this is what I'm going to do. So he said, okay, I'll do something for you. So that was the end. It pushed it to me. Interesting. Now, those of you who are watching us on Facebook, you will see Ajeta Soa doing, my God, my God. Look at the dance. Mm. Yes, and all the other competitors were also clapping for you. Yeah, you can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. What? Mm. How long did this dance last for? A minute and a half. They give you 90 seconds to do everything. And you for did this? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Interesting. And they liked it. Yeah, anyway, it. so I mean, when you did the dance, mm. what did the judges say? When I mean, you they this? were clap, you know, clapping and whatever. It's, but for me, like I'm saying, I'm just doing my thing for Ghana to see it. I mean, I was happy that I was part of the best eight, and that was okay for me. You became the ma most well-known dancer in Ghana yeah, yeah. at the time. Yeah. In fact, and so many of us were trying to learn some of these moves that you did at the world level and all that mm. what was your prize like for the meaning for the yes. uh, world dancing competition mm. it was thousand uh, i said <laughs> <laughs> thousand pounds then yeah. thousand pounds thousand pound. but then the contract that come out with it is more you know it's more because you can make a week like 800 pounds a week and stuff like that. i mean thousand pounds in yeah. 1986 yeah, is almost like yeah. Um, and one, I had a contract after after that. I, would, I had a contract to Switzerland for a year. Wow! They pay you every day, eight hundred pounds. Per diem. Yeah. Eight hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. For doing what in Switzerland? Dance. We used to dance in the clubs, and they have a clip, place called uh, Circus Knee, where they have the uh, animals doing their dance. I mean, oh, the circus. The, the circus mm. stuff like that. So we were doing a freestyle break dance stuff like that. I had a partner called uh, what do you call it from uh, Philippines. I used to dance with him, you know, back then mm. you know, in the clubs mm. before the dancing, before the world dancing competition. So when they gave me the contract, I was like, "Look, this guy I used to do whatever it is with him. I mean, that dance is great, and you know, whatever." So we traveled to what do you call it, Switzerland, for a year to do our thing. And you were making money. Yeah, oh, of course. Now tell me, I mean, when you did this dance and won, yeah. what was it like in Ghana? I wasn't in Ghana, so I don't really know. But then I called my dad and was like, I mean, massive people. They showed at the video theaters and people get beat, and, you know, stuff like that, just to go and watch the video and stuff like that. I mean, for the Indomie generation, I mean, in those days, we had video centers where we went to to watch movies. It was not popular in our homes to have our own TVs and all that. We had to go to the video centers and watch movies and all that. And there was something called comedies. We used to call it comedies. They would start showing you some musical before the main movie, you know, and... 
Ajate Sowa's video that we are watching right now was one of the most popular in all the video centers in Ghana. So he was a huge celebrity in 1985 on was my brother my sister 86 when he won this competition it was huge you made money you started building at the age of 19 mm, true yeah yeah yes after this dance competition how did it change your life well you know like i'm saying uh that was my dream you know to win, i mean to be part of the uh, best eight and i was so happy not knowing that i'll be uh, you know i'm going to be the winner and that was my head was like you know, wow yeah. wow how about the girls? Ah, you know, back in the days, I don't, I don't smoke, I don't drink. I oh, mean, you've never smoked? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You've no, never no, drank? No, no, no. Ah, I think the reason why maybe I don't drink is that uh, back in the days when uh, I was in Lincoln International School, and then we have to go and perform traditional dance somewhere, and then I think one of our colleagues died or whatever it is, so we have to go and perform at a funeral or whatever it is. Mm. And back then, you know. Uh, pure water, you know, water was in the bottle, they sell it in a bottle. Yeah. Right? Yes. So after dancing, you know, after doing the dance or whatever, I, just, I, came, I came back to the Riaza room and I saw this bottle. I thought it was the water, this thing. Ah. No, no, it was. Alcohol. You know, Apio. Apio. <laughs> oh my God. So I just, before I realized, you know, and that night, I mean, that day, what happened to me since then? Oh said, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, you know, my mom and dad was, you know, they are like Christian, you know, Christians and, you know, so education about you know not drinking and smoking that was part of the how about the girls <sighs> i mean i stay away from the school and stuff like that and that was it, you know i mean when you you know they come at you you know mm. they come at you you know did you I enjoy mean, a few at least of course ah interesting but you know this look, is three fm that, that's not I even got into a problem one day one one of, one of the days i was going to uh, i think we did something at that polo theater uh-huh we did something at that quality theater. I met this girl, and then, you know, you know, because we stay back around uh, the place that we stay at is called Robot House. Okay. Whereby most of the dancers, Reggie Rockstone, as the Sephora TP, we all stay there. TP. Around. Yeah, TP. So we all stay there, and all of a sudden, I met this girl, and she was like, "Oh, okay." I mean, it's late. She doesn't want to go home. So I mean, you know how it is. So we went. She, I mean, she came to my place. She followed the following to the house. Day, to the house. Mm. So the following day, we're supposed to go to Kumasi to do something or whatever. So, I, you know, that was it. So I left her. She went home thinking, she, you know, she had left. So we went to uh, Kumasi to do our thing. The following Monday, we have to be back because we're doing something at Labadi Beach. Uh -huh. You know, that was meet me there, something. I came back home. All of a sudden, there was a police in my house. And I was wow. like, what is going on? They said, oh, okay, for a week, I've keeping up this girl. I'm like, hey, Charlie. Wow. I just met this girl Friday and whatever it is. And, you know, so they said, okay, straight to the police station. I was there. I didn't even answer. One policeman just give me a slap just like that. Why? He didn't Bam. know you were get to Soa. Yeah, you know, you might be popular, but so people who are out there, you know, doesn't like you or whatever it is. I don't know whether wow. he likes you or whatever it is. But then all of a sudden, this slap. So the big, the police commander, whatever, you know, the original, you know, no, the police commander was like, Ajete, what happened? I said, this, this, this. Lucky for me, it was in the newspapers that we were going to Kumasi. So, mm. the, you know, the uh, poster or whatever it is was in the papers. So the, he saw it and was like, oh, you are right, you know. And they and, that, you. and then the following day, and I, saw the police, and I told him, like, we are doing something at Labadi. And he said, okay, go ahead. So that's, and they left me. Did you no, see no, the, the girl left house almost a week. And I don't, you know, she wasn't staying at home. Did you see the girl again? Up to now, no way. Do you I, remember her name? I can't even remember, you know. Interesting. This is 3FM. All that while you were not married, right? No, 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 no. At what time did you decide that it was um, time to get married? Uh, let me put it this way. Um, I would say around... Did I? No, the thing is, I was, I was dating this girl. All of a sudden, she got pregnant. And I was like, okay, oh. you know, so we have to... Oh, that's what happened. Okay, you were dating her, she got pregnant, and you felt no. that you should marry her. Yeah, exactly. So, so you married her. Is she the same woman you are with right now? No, 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 no. Ah, no. where is she? Oh, she's in the US. You broke apart? <laughs> we broke apart, yeah. We broke apart. Yeah, we broke apart. What happened? This I mean, is 3FM. Uh, I don't know how to put it, but then I have about seven kids with different women anyway. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it wasn't just one. Oh, okay, so it means you had your own share of the beautiful girls coming you after know, sometimes you. Sometimes it might be like, you know, 
maybe the problem is, you know, it might be like, okay, you have seven kids and different women and mm. five women. And so you are the problem, but sometimes it's not you. Yeah, I don't, I agree for me, you. I think I'm not the problem. You know? I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. So this woman, what was the problem? Ah, not something I don't. <laughs> I mean, that's my children's mother, you know, so there's oh. no way I should, you know. This is 3FM. Yeah. Ah. No matter what, that's my children's mother, so, you know. Is there anybody know. called a Jesua? A Jesua, yeah. Yes. He's from Labadi. You know, you know, Soa, J, Labadi, and Texas, we, we, you know, that's LA and Texas, so. so. So he was also a dancer? He was also a dancer. I think he won 80, is it 90 something? He's in Switzerland right now, yeah. He won what competition? Uh, Embassy Double Duo. Yeah. Embassy, Embassy Double Duo. Did you ever win it? No, for me, you know, like I'm saying, we're not part of the, you know, we started doing it before Embassy oh. Double Duo, so. But I won the Babylon Nightclub. I mean, Babylon 86. Okay. And Reggie won 80, 83. Okay. Reggie was still won 83, but which most of the people was like, you know, I'm supposed to be. But, you know, we were friends. Right? Ah. Oh, so you and Reggie were actually dancing together? Oh, yeah, it was like, uh, Back in the days, that was the challenge. Oh, this is Reggie here? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that's you there? Yeah, that's me there, you know. Ah, show you your skills. Ah. In all white. Yeah. Oh, my God. That oh was a trick God. from Reggie for this, <laughs> this program. That was a trick from Reggie. And Reggie you... was like, oh, he can't make it. So, wow. I, you know, no, no, Reggie was training to come and meet me. <laughs> mm. Mm. So this was on Facebook, right? Yeah, I mean, on, I mean, this, this is Alex on Facebook. Yeah, this Alexophoria to know this thing. Ah, yeah. Alexophoria. Yeah, I remember Alexophoria. Yeah, I remember yeah, TP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nana Gazon was Nana also Gazon there. Was, yeah, yeah. Nana oh my yeah. God, have mercy! Yeah. And who is this? Fire Killer. Fire Killer. Yeah. Fire Interesting. Fire killer. <laughs> So Reggie Rockstone organized this, right? No, no, I was the organizer for this, but then Reggie was like, you know, he can't make it because of, you know, no, no, he was training. I was, I mean, I was so tired, you know, organizing this. All of a sudden he came out. He, as soon as he was like, I just tell you, let Oh my God. <laughs> and who is this? This, uh, let me see. I can't remember this guy. So this Ajay Sowa mm. guy, did he steal your Sowa? Oh, he was also called Sowa? No, he was also called Sowa, yeah. He okay. He was also called Sowa, Ajay Sowa, yeah. Did this you... is in Switzerland right now. I, I even talked to him yesterday. Oh, this is Ajay Sowa. Watch this. Yeah, this is Ajay Sowa, yeah. Mm. He's in Switzerland, yeah. But he, uh, he's using my music, you know. He's using your music? Yeah, he's using my music, yeah. I mean, your music or the music you are using to dance? The music that I was using. I mean, let me say the music I created, like the 10 artist song that I was talking about. Ah. Yeah. Was he copying some of your moves? Of course, what well, all that he was doing. Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, this is this is these are your moves, right? Yeah. Are you getting credit for that? <laughs> Does he send yeah. you some cash sometimes to say, "Hey, Godfather, no, no, thank no, you"? No, no, no. He doesn't no, no, do no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> do you do you think he should do that? No, I know. I don't. You know, I'm okay. I'm comfortable, so I don't. Really oh, you have money. Me. You are rich. No, no, no. no. I'm saying I'm comfortable. I'm not... <laughs> wow. I mean, these are your moves. These mm. are your moves. And if somebody picks up the moves, mm. I think you should get some credit, right? You know, for dancers, I don't. Yeah, credit we should get, but not about money or whatever mm -hmm. it is. You know, mm -hmm. when you, when you talk about dance, everybody can. You know, whatever dance that come out, people do it, and there's nothing like you know. Was there a time people were copying your dance apart from what I, we saw Ajay so were doing? I mean, oh, no, I, no, no, a lot, a lot. You know, back in the days, that was the you know dance that was on. Mm. All of us, you know. And, and you were the most popular. I mean, back in, you know, uh, let me say, from 83 all the way to 85, it was like all the dancing competition that was in the country was like dancing competition. They put it out there dancing. Apart from the season 83, thing, they put it out there as like a dancing competition. But I always take my money before getting to it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I always take my money. Oh, they would always pay yeah. you before going course, for the competition. You know, because if, it, I mean, if you don't pay me, I don't show up, and then people will be, you know, and then. The dancing competition was all about Ajitesu, Ajitesu, you know, because the posters and everything is like Ajitesu has to be on. So if I don't show up, that's a problem. Did you ever get a national honor? Not really, but I can say, you know, what do you call it? Uh, I had a call. When was that? That was 80, somewhere around 88. We were supposed to do a program at a, was it Miss Ghana or whatever it is? And I was there all of a sudden, doing, you know, because I did a choreography on, uh, fella song mm -hmm. zombie, zombie zombie yes so one of the i was back in the, uh, back at the, i mean backstage there one guy came and was like i don't know if he's a big man or whatever he was like look this thing you're about to do you know the old man the 
president is, you know, is a military guy, and blah, blah, I, you know, I shouldn't do it, and I, you know, do, I might have problem, whatever it is, but I shouldn't do it. But I mean, that was the choreography that I have then, and I know it's strong, and I was yeah. like, no, Charlie, there's nothing I can do. And I just went out there and did, and did it. And that wow. was it. So then a few days later, I had a call to be at the National Theatre to be a you know, choreographer at the National Theatre. Interesting. Yeah, so. Interesting. Yeah. And I was doing all of the choreography back in the days, like when the Queen came to Ghana, I was a choreographer. When Clinton was in Ghana, I was a choreographer for the state. How so all the programs at the state house, I was, you know, How did you start to work with Daddy Lumba, especially on the uh, Dr. Panier song that I saw you doing? Dr. Panier's song, I think uh, uh, Lumba was supposed to do a program at the National Theatre song where, you know, so the organizer was like, he wanted me to do something with Lumba or whatever. So I said, okay, so I picked the song uh, Dr. Panier mm. to do. So that was it. That was it. That was it. And you choreographed and then, it? Yeah, I did a choreography with my guys and then we just put it out there. Yeah. Have you been able to train up younger ones to, I mean, take after you? Like I'm saying, you know, we had a, uh, at the National Theatre. There was a group that I was a choreographer that training all the dancers and stuff like that. So, are some of them yeah. still dancing? Of course, almost all the uh, the embassy double do almost all the dancers, the winners, you know, you know. Are you I still dancing? Yeah, I still have it. I see. Yeah. What do you think about a new crop of dancers? The dance God Lloyd, the you know all of them. Yeah, these guys are great. They are selling Ghana. They are going out there doing their thing. So I mean, I think when was that? Is it last year? I came out there. I was like, look, they deserve an award as well. Just because back in the days when they are doing music awards, stuff like that, I always get an award like the best choreographer, best dancer, best dance group. And stuff like that. So I put it out there, look, they should also get out work because most of the, let's say this time, what do you call it, the music that they are doing, they dance to the song and whatever it is and TikTok and whatever, the music become popular, they program the song and stuff like that. So they also deserve, you know. Interesting. Award, yeah. Interesting. Um, music and dance, mm -hmm. right now, hardly do musicians in Ghana make it without the dancers. Thank you. So that's why they also deserve that award. The incredible Ziggy, the Dance God, the Furnitas, and I mean, all of them. They are, I mean, the groups, they need to. Are you proud of them? Of course, I'm very, very proud of them. Very, very proud. You know. They are selling Ghana. Mm. I mean, in terms of dance. Wow. Yeah. Ajata Sowa is my guest right there in the studio, and we are having a beautiful conversation. Oh, my God, have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. This is 3FM. Arte, Arte, Arte. Block. This is 3FM. Open Gangnam Star. Gangnam Star. This is 3FM. Gangnam Star. Walk a Gangnam Star. Walk a Gangnam Star. Walk a Gangnam Star. Walk a Gangnam Star. DJ Abiyam wants to dance up a Gangnam Style with Mamiya. Walk a Gangnam Style. This one became the biggest dance song in the world a few years ago. And it's from the PSI. It's called the Gangnam Style. My guest in the studio is Ajeta Sowa, world-class dancer. Are you the most important dancer in Ghana? 
the most important dancer Ghana has ever had. <laughs> All the dancers are most important. I mean, they are important. All the dancers are important. Are you the most popular dancer Ghana has ever had? Yeah, back in the days, but then, you know, nowadays, you know, we have the, like I'm saying, we have the new guys that are doing their tenure. None of them has won a world award yet. No, no, not yet, not yet. So you are still the champion. Thank you. Walker Gundam style. Walker Gundam style. Ajata Sowa is my guest. Now, Ajata Sowa, I hear you talking so much about God and the devil and God and the devil. Are you a pastor or are you a man of God or are you a born again Christian? What really are you? Ah, I'm a Christian. Christian? Yeah. And we all have to carry the cross. That's it. Are you married now? No, no, I'm still single. You are still singing? Yeah. Single? Yeah. Are you searching? Yeah. You're looking for a woman? Mm -hmm. Interesting. What kind of woman do you want? <laughs> I mean, respectable, you know, make okay. sure that everything Your woman okay must be respectable. Yeah. Mm. Do, you, do you care about the body size? Do you care about the body shape? Do you want slim? Do you want thick? Do you want tough? It doesn't really matter. We are human beings. So far as wow. the person is okay, you know. Okay. So what is okay to you is that she can be anything as long as she respects. Yeah, that's okay. Listen, yeah. Interesting. Are you lonely? Not really. Are all your children with you? Most of them are in the U.S. Most of them? Yeah, five of them are in the U.S., but then I'm with two. Are you a responsible father? Of course. Very, very. I get to so well. Yeah. Do you still have people calling you to do dance for them and to do something related to dance that they pay of for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the last mm. thing you did? The last one was last week. Mm. Yeah, last wow. Week. What did you do? It's a choreography uh, movie. Oh, maybe that will be coming out very soon. I have a brand new song that is coming out, and it's, it's, it's a jungle style of music, you know? Okay. Yes. Are you familiar with jungle music? Of course, yeah. Wow. Okay. If I want you to do a choreography for mm -hmm. it, how much would you charge me? <laughs> I have to listen to the song first. Wow. Yeah. So it will depend on the song? Yeah, it depends on the song mm. and how long and all that. Wow. And you have your dancers? Yeah. You have people that you call yeah. to come and do the dance? Yes, yeah. yeah. We have a deal. Mm -hmm. no we will problem. do it together. No problem. Yes. But my listeners are sending me so many messages here that they want to see if Ajete Sowa can still really do a dance. Are you ready to give us a freestyle? There's no stage yet. There's a stage. There's no stage. I'm about that. And remember, the cameras in the studio are all There's no on stage. you. And then when you are dancing, we will see it on the screen here. No, the no, whole no, world no, is watching no, you. No, no. no. <laughs> Have you lost no, it? No, 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 no. Oh, you haven't trained? No, I haven't trained for today. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't trained for today. Okay, so I'm going to ask you the final question. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are going for a dance, mm. how do you prepare, apart from just training? Is there any food that you don't eat? I eat all kinds of food, you know. It doesn't matter. Any food that is available that I think is okay for me, you know. Just, but I don't take too much, that's it. Ah. I don't want to be too heavy. You, know, you don't want to be too heavy? Yeah. Ah, wow. Yeah. All right. Well, if you were to come back into the world again, mm. would you rather go to school and forget about music uh, and dance, or you would rather do more of the music? Listen, this is what God gave me, you know, this is my talent, and this is what God, I mean, each and everybody have his own way of, you know, that God wants you to be, you know, and that's it, that's what, you know, so there's nothing I can change about this. Did your parents try to stop you from dancing from the beginning? No, my parents didn't stop, but they were like, you know, I should take education that serious. And that's what, you know, I mean, I'm proud about that, you know, there was, because like I'm saying, my father was a dancer, so he was like, he knows that, you know, this thing come from him, you know, so there's no way he can stop me from, but he was like, look, take your education seriously. But, you know, I mean, after I started making money, I moved from the house and I was staying on my own and, you know, things. So you started building your own house at 19? 19, yeah. And you finished it at what age? Driving, remember, I think it was two years or three years already. So you still have the house? I don't live in the same house. You know. I have different houses. Yeah. Oh, you have houses? Yeah. yeah. And cars? Yeah. Wow. How do you feel when you see some of our entertainers, especially those from your era, mm. I mean, fall sick and they go to the radio stations and TV stations asking for donations and all that. Do you see yourself doing that when you fall ill? For me, I always think about the future. So I always, I'm like, whatever I'm doing, I'm like, 
in future I can be doing the same thing. So I always save some money for, for the future. So even though my, my children are doing okay, you know, I've got seven grandkids. So now, they, what? So you're a grandfather? I mean, yeah, they are doing okay and all that. I still don't look up to them. I'm like, you know, because I'm not, I'm not just in the dance. I, I do I have a, uh, what do you call it, a hotel as well that I'm, you know. So in I mean, April, I'm, you're going to be 58 years. But Why did you check all this? <laughs> this is 3 a.m. <laughs> and you don't look it at all. You look yeah. far younger than that. Oh, it's by his grace, yeah. You know. Wow. When you take care of yourself and, you know, prayerful, make sure that, you know, you do the right thing, not really going out there doing all kinds of things, you know. I mean, by his grace, you'll be okay. So, I mean, when you create your own music like we were talking about, you think that you should patent it so that anybody who is going to use it commercially may have to see you and pay some money for the rights. Do you think we should do that? I mean, for dancers, I don't think there's a copyright for, you know, because we all copy and paste, but the way you have to do it in a way that, you, you know, try and make it a way that create something out, you know, create whatever you see that you want to do it, you should create something out of it. To make it your own i think that's what did you I have a favorite that, dancer in the days back in that the days. you were looking up to yes like i'm saying jeffrey danish oh wow yeah jeffrey did danish. you ever have the opportunity to meet him no no because when he came to ghana i was supposed to by then i was in the u.s what yeah. he came to reggie he came to, you know that's reggie's friend anyway oh wow yeah, that's reggie Maxwell's wow friend. how about michael jackson you didn't like his no, moves no, no, that no. much no no I, I love his you know i love michael jackson but it was you know my kind of dancing is kind of different from his mm. kind of dance, yeah. and like i'm saying i always like to do something that is mine mm -hmm. yeah you know i can do michael jackson moves and all that but when there's a dancing competition or whatever it is, I like to do what is mine, you know. Mm. My guess is Ajeta So. and a blessed memory. My guest is Ajeta Sowa and we are about to wind it all up. Do you deserve a national recognition? Should we build a statue for you? <laughs> what should the nation do for you? Do you think you are deserving of that? Well, I'm not even thinking about that. So far as you know, I'm okay. I don't really... Wow. So if the president, Nana Kufuado, wants to award you, have you ever received any such award from the nation? No, 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 really, no, no. Do you want one? I don't think so. You know, I mean, if it comes, fine, but if it don't, you know. Mm. You don't care? No, no. Mm. Wow. Ajete Sowa, mm. I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. I do appreciate you, and I want to say thank you and thank you and thank you. If you have some final words you want to share with us, why not? Feel free and flow. Okay, for the young folks out there, please take your education seriously. You know, no smoking, no drinking. Make sure you take your, if whatever talent that you have, make sure you do it, you know, take it seriously. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you so much. Do you have a favorite dancer in Ghana right now? Right now? Yeah. Like I'm saying, Dance God, Afro Ziggy, Afro Nita, you know, almost all of them. In militant, yeah. yeah. You don't have one particular favorite dancer they are all my friends i can't be biased you know? i know what you mean yeah. i know what you mean yeah. wow. yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming on the show thank i appreciate you, you. Love, love, love back to life back to reality fire fire